Good afternoon, my name is Rendon, reporting about Cafe Duke. Cafe Duke is like a mini restaurant inside the camp run by Team Duke, the 12 and 14 year olds. Cafe Duke sells strawberry smoothies for a dollar, nachos for a dollar, nachos with jalapenos and chili for two dollars, and root beer and orange soda for a dollar. Cafe Duke is to help with the cost of the special trip to Blue Bayou, the water park, land of the giants. We, when asked who came up with the name Cafe Duke, manager Sidney Odom says Aaron Marquez did. Cafe Duke is open on Thursdays and is located near the VBS staff home. Thank you. This past Monday, the campus at site traveled to the Sage Trade Facility in Mary, Louisiana to attend the mini camp. Campus went through five stations, a running back station, a quarterback station, a cornerback station, a wide receiver station, and a station with the children's ground. Each station taught us the mechanics and fundamentals of the position. The children's ground station had people talk to campers about anger management and controlling other negative emotions. In conclusion, the football camp was very helpful and helped strengthen the weaknesses of campers in terms of football skills. I would advise any athlete to attend the camp. Thank you. Now you're here reporting live about the 2012 Excite All-Stars Olympics. The Excite All-Stars Olympics are very similar to the original Olympics. I interviewed Kaylee Butler, a member of the USA team. While she was not sure if her team was going to win, Kaylee was very glad to see her team take the lead and win the Olympics. Some Olympic games include pie eating, catch the flag, water balloons, and the human knot. And now, with more on the Olympics, is T. Arrow. Hi, this is T. Arrow reporting from Excite. Today I will be reporting on the 2012 Excite Olympics. Becky, a senior staffer, believes the Olympics originated in Greece in the ancient BC. She believes it started for entertainment. We had the Summer Olympics because this was the year of Summer Olympics and the staffers thought it would be a good idea to get the staff, the campers involved. In order to play, the campers were randomly divided into three countries, Argentina, USA, and South America. We had three events, theme song competition, human knot, and obstacle course. Argentina's theme song was an original, original rap, while South Africa's was Waka Waka and USA's was Party in the USA. There was a ceremony on Friday and each country was scored on each event by first, second, or third. South Africa came in first in team spirit, USA came in first in obstacle course, and Argentina came first in theme song competition. The campers enjoyed the experience and I hope we do it again. Hi, this is Kia, I reported from Excite All Star Summer Camp. And today I am reporting on an interview of DJ Chicken. DJ Chicken was asked where he is originally from, and he said New Orleans. DJ Chicken has a child attending this attending this camp, and his name is Cameron Williams. DJ Chicken found out about this camp from Cameron's grandfather. DJ Chicken was asked who was his inspiration, and he said DJ Jesse Jeff. DJ Chicken was also asked how long he was he had been on the radio and he said about three years DJ Chicken was asked do he plan on sending Cameron here next year and he said yes DJ Chicken was asked how did he start DJ DJ he said he wanted to be a DJ after seeing after hearing a DJ at his cousin's graduation and he said he had DJed and wanted to be one ever since. Why do he was also asked why do they call him DJ Chicken? They call him that because of chicken scratch and the DJ scratches. And later on that day his son Cameron was interviewed. Cameron was asked what is his dad's real name? Cameron said Kenneth Williams. Cameron was also asked does his dad inspire him and why? Cameron said yes because of a lot of interesting things he does. Cameron was also asked what was his first DJ event and he said at a sock hop at his school in 2011. The last question Cameron was asked was who inspires him to be a DJ and he said DJ Rockaway and his dad. 
Hello, Rosano Bear reporting here on your Youth Works program. I interviewed Haley from Texas. The Youth Work, she said, the Youth Works program uh, is important because you're helping the community, and it was also and it was also found here five years ago in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Youth Works program is important because. It is important to spread the Christian spirit throughout the community. The um, Excite has been good to her, and she's learned a lot here. She also said that, that Excite has been a fun place. It has also been a good and rewarding feeling knowing that she's helped children. Tune in next week for All-Star Webcast. Goodbye.